Hi everybody, it's Lisa with Junk Journal Gems. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're gonna work on something different, but before we start, I thought that, um, well, I shouldn't say something different. You'll see in a second, but um, I thought that I'd first show you a few of the things that I've done to the prom dress journal. So I've just added some of the ephemera pieces that I've made in the past and had in my stash this over a little here I want to put in a belly band I did some stenciling through the journal and the stencils that I've used are both from Tim Holtz I believe this one is called doily this one right here and let's see here the doily one is X zero zero two I Y D Y W N. The other one is called Roses, and it's it looks like that number is T H S zero seven five. So those are the two stencils, and they've been just been working out great for this journal. And I'm not done stenciling in here yet. There's quite a bit, <laughs> there's quite a bit to go. Oh, looks like I put something in here upside down. All right. I did this. I think I did this off camera. So this is that doily stencil behind here. And I took one of the poems from um, the Edith Holden book that I've been using and put it in here. Um, it's about the month of June and it's just a very lovely poem. I wanted to include more stenciling. Um, let's see, I added the tag from the prom dress. <laughs> you can see here's the proof. It was a gunny sacks dress. Um, and I used that as a tab in the journal so that I could really remember the dress. And let's see if there's any more in this side yet. Just a little cluster here with my, some of my favorite tatted lace and a little bow. This is an ephemera piece that we've done. The quad flip out. And what did I, oh, in here, I just added one of these with a definition. The definition cards I have are in German. Maybe I'll turn this over to the green side. There we go. And it flips open this way. I need to add cards in here yet, and I want to do some kind of a tab to keep that closed. Um, what else? Oh, I did this. This is a strip from an Edith Holden book page, a cluster that I've done with some flat back um, gemstones. And then I added this... Um, I don't know if this is crochet or tatting um, lace here with some flat back pearls that I've glued onto that and that sticks out of the page out of the page out of the signature and it just looks so pretty I absolutely love that that we did together for the five item challenge with Catherine's items from the precious pearl this is just an old receipt that I backed with some grid paper to be able to journal on. And this is a piece that we've done together. This was a um, inspiration from Gallo Gastinelli with the little tags. I could do a little more embellishing on this, but I think I'll wait until I'm actually using the journal and then embellish it. Um, I can't remember if we did this online together or not, but this is a little pink tag. I'll be adding um, these pink tabs to tabs, tags to my Etsy store. And in here, I just used a scrap piece of coffee dyed paper and can journal on that or put a little sentiment in it. These are just little pieces that I can journal on. This is an old copy of an old vintage postcard. And this behind that is a collaged um, masterboard tag that I had that I just used some of those labels that we did, put a cloth tab at the top and a floral fussy cut. So I can journal on that. Oops. 
whoops, it came right out the side. I'll have to fix that. And this is a piece I'm going to put inside. I did this long ago. It's been sitting in my ephemera box. Goodness, I don't even know how long. Wait too long. And it's time to use it. So this is a piece that I had from a book that I just backed with some coffee dyed grid paper. We'll have to put some more tags in here. Same with this one. And let's see. This is a pocket that I had in my stash. It's a double pocket. These um, ephemera pieces are from, oh, I think it's a doily kit from um, Roxy Creations. Both of these are from that kit. And a little butterfly on here. What else have I added? Oh, this is a pocket that we've done in a video, a vellum pocket, and we'll need to do some collaging on this lotto card. These are available in my shop too, if anybody's interested. I love the vellum because then you can see what's behind there. How fun. Um, did I add anything else? This is a piece that I want to add as a tuck after I do some more stenciling. I added this piece. We'll need to add some tags on there, in there, in, on, <laughs> whatever. And this is the piece that we did. I just added the um, cheesecloth and a tag and a butterfly. And that's about it. So that's how far we are. I haven't done much of anything without you. Um, what we're going to do today is I have, move my flowers out of the way. I have these coffee dyed um, note cards, five by seven. Are these five by seven? Yes. No. Five? Five by, three by five cards. And what I'm planning to do with them is to put some um, of the Tim Holtz vellum over the top and then we'll decorate that and I just have some things to use to decorate with. I've got some fussy cut flowers here. I've got some more of um, that um, Liana scrap um, doily kit and this kit, oh for heaven's sake, I'll have to look up the name of this one. Um, this is like another staple that I like to use. And here's a little scrap of rice paper. I, oops, I also have some fabric and ribbon scraps out too. So let's get started. I wanna make sure that the card is right side up in the back. And then all I'm going to do is to, I think what I'll do is just do a little dab of glue. Otherwise, when I flip it over, it's going to move on me. Oh. One of the dogs wants something. Hopefully my husband gets her before she starts getting out of control. Okay, let's see. race around here and then we'll cut it on the inside of that line. Hopefully I can see the pencil mark. Let's do this one right away too. Everybody had a terrific 4th of July holiday. We certainly did. Um, both our kids were here. My oldest son's fiance was here and we had a lovely 
4th of July slash birthday dinner together. We went boating. It was just so much fun. You know what? That was silly, wasn't it? I really didn't have to do that. If I glued it down, I you do not need to mark it. All you have to do is cut around it. Oh, I see. It's later than I thought. It's dog's dinner time, so my husband is feeding them. No wonder why she's having a meltdown. It's meal time. I'd be having a meltdown too, right? Let's just glue this down better. That is not going to work. What am I thinking? Do not use glue stick when you're using vellum. Um, I tend to use either the art glitter glue stick, but I think even better will be the Fabri-Tac. I'm just gonna, oops, use this. I think these will look really pretty in the pockets. And try to get it as close to the edge as you possibly can. on vacation this week and I was piddling around the house and doing some laundry and just kind of relaxing and lost track of the time. folder to make sure that it's all sticking down good. So we've got this one and then we'll do the same with this. See that glue stick does not hold. Oh this one's holding pretty good. Oops. super warm here in Wisconsin and we have had such humid days. But it, yesterday was, the temperature was 90, but it, with the humidity, it felt like 98, which for those of you in warmer climates, surely must think that we're a bunch of wimps or something, but that humid weather just, about does you in. Oh, I didn't. Let's see. Where is the top? There it is. And it was so warm. We went and ran a couple errands and ugh. And leave the car and then get back in it. It's downright gross. around the edge. There we go. And here's what we have. So what I will do then is use my vintage photo and ink around the edges. And see then you don't see any of the white edge of your index card. But it looks so vintage and cool. You know, I kind of got some of this idea from G. Kerr. Um, and what I'm going to use next is I think on the back here. Do I want on the back? Let's do one one way, one another. Why well, decide? And you can use your creativity. I think what I'll 
you. Which one do I want to use is the next question. Hmm. Is there any one I've not used? I've not used this one. So let's try that. This is a Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz collection. It's called Postcards CMS 099. But I love these. properly. Oop. There we go. And, oh, I thought I had my black ink out. And, I think again, I'll use my illustrative faith just because it's a little juicier. I haven't yet replenished my black one. I need to get some black ink. Reminder or note to self. So let's do this. Let's see how this turns out. Do the next one. What do we want to do next? Let's try this little one and stick it down there. This one, what I think I'll do is. some of this lace and then maybe what we'll do oh that's cool love it now you know I want to go around and start stamping a million things like this <laughs> oh why 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 I hope I'm not shaking the camera as I'm pulling these drawers out all right so let's do a little collage with this Set this aside so I can clean them. And I have a special surprise at the end of the video. So stay tuned so you can learn what the surprise is. I would not want you to miss out. put the other card. All right, Lisa. Here it is. All right, so. I think I wanna tear this a little closer. I finished the whole Downton Abbey series. I totally had a binge watch day. <laughs> but man, it was so good. I wish I'd have known earlier how good it was. I would have, I don't know, maybe I just wasn't in the right mood for it at the time when it was on television. But yeah, it's a good series. So if you haven't watched it, um, please do. I can't remember the, the name of the lady that plays the dowager, but man, is she good in her role. Okay, so this one, I think I'll go like that. I'll grab a fussy cut, fussy cut flower. That one's too big. Oh, this is kind of cute. Bleeding hearts. that and 
Let's see what I have for labels that I want to use. I have so many. Let's get some of these fancier ones. I don't use these very often. I honestly don't really know why. Hmm. Maybe go like that. That's kind of cute, isn't it? I think I'll do that. What do I... Ooh. Nope, here it is. Exactly. Okay, there it is. Now what I do when I want to layer things like this, because I've got this over that, is I'll just put a little dab of glue here to hold it in place so that then I can kind of glue the whole piece. See what I mean? Okay. Get that going. Oh my. Welcome to videoing or crafting with Lisa with dogs barking. Every time, right? I'm gonna blame it on my husband's dogs because they're the ones being naughty right now. Mine are being good. <laughs> there we go, there's that. And I will then glue this little bit down. Love it. Okay, now let's get this little piece. straight. There. There is that one. I've got a couple of edges just barely, barely, barely off. I'll just nip those. And there is one. Oh, I love it. Okay. Isn't that fun? All right, let's, let's do this little guy. And I think I'll sew around this, but I'll do that off camera. Um, and you certainly do not have to sew around these at all. Okay, what to use on this one? Kind of, you know what? I thought the rice paper would be a good idea, but it's too like the um, vellum. Too much like it. So I'm going to ixnay that. Maybe what I should use is a little bit of this music. Maybe I will. A little music. And what I reached for just there was my scrap bin. I always keep a little scrap bin handy. There's always goodies in there to use. I not only use them when um, I'm making junk journals, but I also use my scraps when I'm writing in my own journal and decorating pages. No scrap is safe with us junk journalers, right? <laughs> in fact, I noticed the other day it's about time for me to do some scrap busting because the scraps are getting a little out of hand. Maybe that. I'm kind of not covering up the bird though. Sorry, I'm kind of whispering to myself as I'm thinking. Maybe I'll do that. Like so. Yep. And then that little tiny label. Too close. I need a lighter colored one. Not light enough. How about this one? Too big. It's like Goldilocks. To this, to that. 
you know what, I'm not feeling any of these. And I think these labels, I believe, are from um, Foxy Creations. Vintage labels or something like that, the kit is called. Um, so let's see what else I have. Hmm. Let's do this one. I have um, an office stamp, and I'll just stamp down scraps of paper and then use that. And I can already tell I want that's what I want. Rip around the edges here. Perfect. Oh, yes. Ink it up. See? Instant age when it's not at all. <laughs> okay, then this will go, let's see, bink, bink, and then like that. Okay, so first let's get our little piece of music down here. And I'll sew around this when we're off camera too. So you don't have to deal with me trying to either drag my sewing machine over here or listen to the noise. If ever you'd like me to show more sewing, let me know and I'll see what I can do to figure out um, camera arrangement. Okay, let's get the flower down. have to applaud my husband this weekend he was when the kids weren't here he was so busy getting a bunch of projects done around the house doing shelving staining um, the um, posts for a bird feeder kind of I'll call it a bird feeder station that I want so I can have bird feeders again which I cannot wait they'll be right outside my the big station will be right outside my craft room window, which a lot of my time is spent in my craft room slash office. So that way when I'm talking on the phone, I can watch the birds. That will make me so happy. Okay, then there's this. I love this. Let's see. Let's trim off the edges here. It's not entirely dry, but almost. And there we go. Two cards to use in two similar but different ways. So let's figure out where we're going to put this. I kind of was hoping that one could go in here like so. Oh, that's right. These pockets are not very deep. This one isn't anyway. So let's do this and then that. I like that better anyway. That can stay like that. But I had another area. Where was that? That I wanted to put in. It's too wide for that. Maybe it was in here. Yep. Ooh, that's a tight one. So that can go there. Cute. I'm going to tuck it in a little more. There we go. Maybe I'll put a tab on there yet, too. Okay, so that's that project. I'll throw away. Do I want to throw away these little scraps? This one I will. These I'll keep. Now, the next thing I wanted to do, get this out of our way, is to make, I have 
these flashcards that I recently purchased, and I'm going to be putting, um, listing these in my Etsy as well so I can share with all of you. But I had an idea of how to make some really cute pockets. And I'm debating if I want hmm, this on the bottom to be cut off, or this like this. Well, again, rather than deciding, let's do one one way and let's do one another. So here's the idea that I had. I'm thinking, and first I need to figure out on a signature page, <coughs> excuse me, either if I glue these down or use these as a tuck or as a tag, how big is my page? And I think if I just cut the box part off, that will be sufficient. So we'll do that first. Let me get, uh, let's see, I wonder how my little cutter will do. Sometimes this little guy gives me fits. He and I aren't the best of friends. warm here today because it is so humid out. I think I'll cut this. So if I cut that at six, that's too short. I think I'll cut it at about five and three quarters. Okay. Okay. It didn't give me fits this time. So what we can do this is going to be fun. I can see it already. Okay, here's that one. And then this one we're cutting off. This one we didn't, we left the cut corner to put this over the top of it. And then with this one, I thought about maybe doing the opposite. So I'll take the answer side and cut that part off. And this one... Maybe I'll do that just an eighth below six. Yeah. So then this one will go like that. But here's the rest of my idea. <laughs> this will co cooperate. Okay, so let's see here. do next. Where's my ruler? Grab a little ruler and then I'm going to just cut on the inside of the box.
some white vellum. You could take um, tracing paper. You could use you could use the same um, Tim Holtz vellum in here if you wanted to. That'd be really cute. That'd be really cute. In fact, maybe we'll do one one way, one another with this because that is so cute. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. Okay. This one, I see another little spot that's bugging me. Okay. There we go. Okay. You could also use the um, white and then you see your numbers in there really 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 well really 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 well um i think what i will do is with the white one let's mark where i want to cut it Where's my, where's, where's my little cutter again? Then we have this. Maybe what I'll do. What do we have for flowers or birds? Maybe we can use another one. Nah, I don't want to use the same one. Oops, I've got flowers flying everywhere now. Oh, that is super cute. So if I do, I'm going to have to put this on the outside or the inside. This is a little like vellum sticker. I'd rather put it on the inside, but I don't know how well that will show. I think it's gonna have to be on the outside or let's see how this one works. Yeah, same thing, even though it's darker, it's just not quite enough. Maybe I just haven't found the right one of the bunch here yet. What else do we have? Hmm. Ooh, this is beautiful and really goes with my theme. I think we'll use this one. Okay. Come on. So close, I almost had it. There it is, there it is. There we go. And then, I wanna get as much of the image as possible. like so. so. What I need to do is cut off <clears throat> the rest of this. Okay. 
And then look, the piece that we cut out of the box, won't that be a fun little embellishment on something? I just love crafting. For this one, let's use the art glitter glue. And I never really had another favorite craft. Yeah, I do a few things, but nothing I really was passionate about until junk journals. Now I'm obsessed. I don't do well with projects that take too long. I just kind of lose interest. Super cute. Okay, now I'll catch around the edges of the vellum on my inside so it doesn't catch when I put a little tag or something in there. That's always annoying. Oh, that is stuck down good. Yeah. Okay, that's good. All is well. Then we can put this on here, but before I do that, I want to ink up and we can do the sides. See, you can see the numbers behind that. I love it. I love it. I love it. have a cute little pocket. I've made something similar in the past with um, more modern flashcards, but I didn't do the vellum thing because they were words versus um, numbers. And then when we ink around the whole thing, it will kind of pop. Isn't that fun? I think I prefer the little tag at the top. And then we can do some kind of a little flash card inside. And then when you do your flash card, uh, um, journaling card, and you could even put this one on the journaling card. All right, let's do this one quick and then we'll call it. Ooh, what else you could do? Hmm. We could do this one, and then you wouldn't really see anything behind it like you do there. Let's just try it and see how it goes. Because this one, we're going to put this behind it. All right. Blah, blah, blah. Glue on my fingers. Where did I put my scalpel? Scalpel. Okay. Let's try this again. See if I can do a better job of it this time. Lou is really good at using these and she's like so efficient with it and it's into a curve. I just make it great with this one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I missed a side. Oh but I just had a cool idea. You could flip it up for a window. That's kind of clever. Am I being clever? I think I'm being clever. Let's see here. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's 
try it. We never know until we try it, right? It's always the corners that I struggle with. And thank you everybody for joining me today. I'm having a great day in my playroom. Now here what we'll do is we'll kind of need to score it but not cut it. This may be an epic fail I'm committing right here. Okay, so I didn't cut it. I just kind of, that did not work. I'm afraid, let's see. I'm afraid though, if I do this, out as well as I think. Let's do this. Okay, let's try that. Did that work? Ooh, it did. It did, it did, it did. Oh, fun. Okay, let's put the scoreboard down. So it is the scoreboard. Scoreboard does work like that. All right, so we'll glue our vellum. And I wanted the tree on there centered. So this needs to be cut. Let's see. This. Need to cut it here and a little bit off there. It doesn't work. It's only paper. It is only paper. No foul, no harm done. Back to the scrap pile. Oh, I'm way off screen again. Focused on what I'm doing and not the fact that you can't see me. Where's the mark? Right there. Okay. Again, save your scraps. means then I need to cut a little off of each side. Let's check it. Check it before I get too wild and crazy here. Okay, let's glue this on. Make sure we've got it the way we want. So this will go on there. Oh, 
this is kind of a fun little peekaboo window then. Okay, so let's do the same thing. We will, as soon as I get the, <laughs> as soon as I get the needle in here, um, we'll ink it up. Let me put the cap on this, otherwise I'm an accident what's gonna happen. I almost didn't pick these cards up. I'm glad I did, this is fun. So then, this will go on here like this. We'll have to put some kind of a little itty bitty tab or something on here so that it's an indication that you can open the window. Can't wait to tell you my surprise. I'll tell you. I know you're like, well, just tell us. No. -uh. I'm spoiling my fun and making you wait. <laughs> okay, let's get a little back there. Okay. There we go. Oh, fun. I love these. Reminds me of those kids' um, books where you open the little window. There we go. I'm going to do this a little. Take off the white edges. There we go. Oh my goodness. So, so much fun. All right, so here we go. Here are these, and we already, somewhere in here, I already tucked the other cards that we made. So we had a busy time of it. Again, I thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel so other people can find us and click like if you enjoyed the content. You can also click the reminder so you're alerted when I've posted some more videos. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Just kidding. I forgot to tell you the surprise. So here's the surprise. You know we're making this prom journal um, prom dress journal from my high school prom dress um, for myself. But the surprise is I'm making another one so that all of you um, have the opportunity to um, get one as well. So when I'm done with this journal, I will do a flip through of it and I'll be using a lot of the same kind of ephemera pieces, laces, some of my prom dress as the journal cover. And I'll be listing this in my Etsy shop. And when I do that flip through video, I will let you know when it's posted so that you have the chance to go out and get that. So that was the surprise. Thanks again for joining me and have a terrific day.